everyone, it's Christina with My Confection Obsession and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fondant peony. Before we get started, I do want to let everybody know the tools that we're going to be needing. So I do have some homemade fondant here and I'm going to be using pink but you can use whatever color you want. I have these uh, peony fondant colors and I will put the link in the show notes where I got them. Um, from Amazon and they are pretty life-changing. They're gonna make this really easy for us. I have um, my little fondant, uh, I call it I guess my thinner, where I use it to thin the fondant out. I have a small fondant rolling pin. You are gonna need a little bit of cornstarch and you are gonna need at least eight cupcake liners. And I have a paintbrush and a water and, and some water which we're gonna be using later when we um, put everything together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start rolling out some pieces of fondant. So I'm gonna put a little cornstarch down. Sure, that's probably too much. I don't need that much. And essentially what I'm gonna be doing is making, um, I'm rolling out eight different pieces for um, the different uh, fondant cutters and so there are four included here and I'm making two of each so just to kind of give you guys an idea of how we're parsing out this fondant so I'm just gonna take a little piece here and cover it up when I'm not using it so it doesn't dry out and I do need to get it a little bit warm in my hands so fondant will tend to harden up or it does harden up if you um, let it sit, but it easily warms up in your hands. So get it warm. Put a little cornstarch here. I'm just going to start rolling this. And I do want to get it pretty thin. So remember with fondant, we do a roll and then we do a quarter turn. So again, we're gonna be doing two of each size. You can just do one, but I like the look of more petals. I think it looks more realistic, so I do two. So you're just gonna press and tear away the excess. And then what you're gonna do, so you can get that flower shape, is you're going to set it in a cupcake liner. The little one's hard because it's tiny, like this. And so what we're trying to do is to get it to start drying with the petals in that shape. So I'm just gonna continue to do this, two of each size. So one key thing I forgot, but I definitely wanna make sure that we don't, is we do wanna thin out the edges of the petals. So we're just gonna take this, and kind of thin out the edges. And we're gonna do this for each one of the pieces that we cut out. So I'm gonna go back and do it to that one as well. Okay, so now I have cut out all eight pieces and they are in their cupcake liners and they're starting to dry a little bit. And the next thing I wanna show you is how to make that center of the peony. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of our leftover fondant and we're gonna make a small sphere. So we're just gonna roll it in our hands. 
So I have my sphere here and I'm gonna take one of the smallest cutouts and I can already tell that's actually too big because what I'm gonna be doing is wrapping the petals around it and I can tell that my, my ball is a little bit too big. So take a little bit off. So place it in the center and we're going to wrap the petals around it. So first I wanna make sure they fit. So we can put a little bit of water so that it'll stick. I'm not drenching the fondant because that'll create a huge mess, just a very light a little bit of water. So I'm just pinching it together like that. And the great thing about fondant is it will harden and be really firm and sturdy, but right now it's still pretty soft and kind of malleable, so I'm just making it the shape that I want. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up cutting off part of this so that it will sit flat in the flower. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start layering these and I'm gonna take a knife and cut just a little bit of this off so it doesn't stick out too much. So we have a nice flat end here. So now we're gonna go ahead and start stacking. So we're gonna put a little bit of water just a dab in the middle. And this part you can do the way that you like the flowers to look. So I actually like them more closed um, towards the center and then a little bit open um, as the flower moves out. So I'm going to close the first few layers. And I just, I'm just making sure I like how it looks before I add water. So add a little bit of water. And we're just gonna go ahead and continue stacking. Okay, so I have all of my layers stacked. And as I mentioned, I, liked, I like my um, peonies to be more closed. So I'm gonna start molding these just with my hands. And I'm being pretty gentle because I don't want the fondant to tear. I'm gonna add a little bit of water between some of these petals, so it'll it'll stick a little bit better. So what I'm doing is I'm really just shaping it to my taste, and I'm gonna set it in a cupcake liner to dry. And this is the key, because it's gonna harden exactly how you set it. So I know these are gonna sit on top of a cake, and so I know they're gonna be on top, so I think I kinda want a little bit more flat here, so I think I am okay with it drawing like that. And if you want these a little bit higher, you can always put something against it so it'll dry nicely. Just really making sure I like how this is gonna dry. So you're gonna end up letting this sit overnight and it will harden. And you're gonna end up with a really pretty, realistic looking peony. Um, I am gonna be using this as a, a cake topper. Um, you could also do um, a fewer number of layers and you can make them smaller. So you could do cupcake toppers. Um, so you could do a lot of different things with these. Of course, you can use different colors. I'm pretty excited about how these turned out. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe to my channel below. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.